Hello there, this is Asad Siddiqui again. Uh, we created a UDesign website with a UDesign WordPress theme in my first video. I set up the home page, the revolution slider uh, with some text and images and there was some additional text here that I took out and I thought that we should just um, include that in the, there is another section in the theme that says home page after content so home page after content, I'm just gonna put some sample text in here just to make it look fuller. So we can do that. I just got that from the Wikipedia page for Laura Miss Pum. That, that is also happens to be my favorite um, page. So you can do that and then you can do H2 some more text. So H2 is the heading to if anybody doesn't know what that means. But instead of giving it a title, I just want to control it as uh, H2. So I will look at my site and see how it looks. So I have some, some decent content here and I'll just put a divider after that just to give it a nice separation. So I can uh, see some more space and there is a, some separation between the after content and the uh, footer. Okay, so I think our website is looking nice at this point. I think uh, another divider here would look nice. So let's just go ahead and do that too while we are at it. So I will just say divider and update it. Okay, so I think we are done with the home page here with some sample content and now we are going to uh, talk about various other customizations that you could do. So the first thing is I really don't like this tagline showing up here so I am going to uh, remove that. So that is just the tagline for my site. I am just gonna remove that and just say save changes and make sure that is gone. I'm not gonna change the logo because you can upload yours and however you want it to look like. Second thing is I want to change the style on the menu and the hover colors and all that because my slider is a blue kind of a color. I would like some kind of blue here. And I would like some kind of blue text or black text in the menu, some kind of different fonts. So UDesign has options built in for that. So you can click on UDesign and then you can uh, go to fonts and font settings and you can say enable Google fonts, update this, and once you do that, then these drop downs are going to display all the Google fonts that there are. So that is very cool. The navigation menu font settings is right here. I am just gonna select something. And you, similarly, if you select general font and change it, then your font will get changed on the body, uh, like the HTML body elements. So I will just make this 20 for right now and say save changes and see how that looks like. Uh, this is a good font for menus actually and I really like it. Okay, so this changed it a little bit and we see that the menu is kind of messed up here a little bit but we will go into that further. Right now what I want to show you is how to change colors on this theme and col different color schemes. So right in the under you design, if you scroll down a little bit uh, and there is a section here that says custom colors. So you can say enable and say update. And whenever you do that, um, you are going to see uh, the color scheme here. Now there are colors defined for each section. Now let's say I want to change the color where the background color for this section, the whole thing. I'll have some variant of blue. And what what do I want? I can just um, decide in my browser real quick and see what what is the color that I like. So I will just do some text code and try to come up with a color that I like. Okay, so of course this doesn't look nice. Maybe some shade of yellow might go well with my, um, with the header that we have. So if we do something like maybe this, um, which is a lighter kind of a blue color that looks good. 
So basically what I was interested in is this background color code. So we can do that or uh, we can actually we can also pick this up. We can either do this with a custom CSS or we can pick this color up from the color selection tool. So if you go look in the custom colors section, this is the general text and link colors. Your links will look like this. So we will, because our sliders are blue, we want to make everything in that blue space. So this is the color. Wherever there was orange, I am going to replace that with this color. So I'm just copying and pasting it in. And I'm just, uh, I'm just replacing the orange color with the 35, six. Okay, so I think we are done here. I'm gonna do update. And now we are going to pick up the, pick up the colors for our homepage before content. So if you look at homepage before content, you'll see the background color, which is white. So I'm just gonna go like this and then maybe change the color, whatever you want. So right now I'm just gonna make it like this. So this will be my background color. You can also change text color and title color. Maybe if I want to change title color to something like um, darker shade of blue, um, uh, I'm just making that up. And then we can also change the color of the menus. So let's go ahead and look at how our top menu active color and top menu link colors are looking like so top area top menu link color we can change that to something like uh, blue this side will be very blue actually so but anyway uh, the the ray uh, the point is that you can pretty much make it whatever you want and whenever it is active uh, it's gonna be black whenever somebody hovers over it it's gonna be black so we just change the menu colors and put some color in for the top menu from the uh, for the area for top area of the content so right now uh, now I'll just refresh the page and the page looks like this now I wanted to you also see that the color got upgraded here, which is great. So this should have been a little lighter in my opinion to make it uh, stand out a little more. Maybe you can do like, uh, I'm sorry about that. That was my phone going on. So you can make it maybe a little lighter and it'll look a little better. So you will just grab this code right here and go back to your theme and where it says the top area background colors. You just put that code in and I think you are good to go. So I'll save changes here and then I will just refresh my page and this color should show up, which it does. So this layout looks kind of nice and we can do the same thing if you want colors here or change the text color. One cool tool that I wanted to show you was uh, uh, was a color scheme designer. So if you just Google um, color scheme designer and the first one that comes up, you go there. It is a very good tool that will tell you different color schemes that you can go with. Like you can select a monochromatic or a compliment or a triad and it'll tell you about colors that go well so you can rotate this and come up like I was going with a blue uh, blue color so maybe my footer can look like this and I can pick one of the colors like like this code and the text like this or menu color like this so these colors will go very well and because the theme is giving me full control over what kind of colors I want wear something like this will be very useful to do. So you can go colorschemedesigner.com. Now I, I'll put a link in my description and then you can uh, choose various colors here and go with them. Coming back to the point, now we have modified this. We also have an option to make this left 
as opposed to the right align. So if you go back to theme options, you will see an option that says menu bar will be on the left. So there are different uh, options here for the sidebar and I'm sure that there is one on the menu bar as well. So choose men menu position, you can make it left or right and I've centered it too with some CSS. So you can make uh, do custom CSS and make it center aligned or uh, put a different image or whatever pretty much you want you can do. Here also you can, uh, there is an option that you can disable the search functionality and put a button or some short code to style something different. So the home page is pretty much done and it is set up. One more quick thing that I would like to show you is how you set up the contact page and we will go ahead and correct this menu. So how do you control the menu? Go to appearance, menus, and I think there are multiple locations. So you will need to specify that I'm using top navigation, which is one, my, one of my menus. So I will go how the top navigation looks like. I will just uh, have two pages. So I will just save and automatically it's adding top level pages. So now you see home and about us. Uh, we are going to add a contact page to the site. So I will add a new page and make it a contact page. So I will just say contact us. And then you can um, select a page template that is a contact page and you don't need to do anything else whatsoever you can just publish it and your contact page is ready to go you all you need to do is go to you design which has a contact page options so I will just search for that because this is just overwhelming for me because there are so many options so I'll just search for contact page you can set up your content here, whatever you want for your contact page. And then if you view the page, that content is going to show up. So it has kind of a nice template. You can put images for your Google map or something like that, some text maybe. And, and, the, uh, and you can put stuff in the sidebar by going to the appearance widgets and then placing some widgets over there like a Google map or some pages that you really want to advertise your products on and things like that. So again, uh, I think this is uh, okay. This my home home page is also messed up. So I while I'm at it, I'll just gonna correct that as well. So instead of home being on the menu, I will just remove that, and then I will just add a link for my website, which is idesignsmart.com forward slash test wordpress, and include that. Where it says menu item, I'm just gonna say uh, home. So my home page looks like that. And save menu. So everything will be cool now. I'll just restart this page and go to home. And about us and contact us and home. Okay, so this was pretty much it um, as far as setting up the theme is concerned. You can also, this has very nice options about for putting images on there. So if I edit this page and put a sample image, maybe add media, the snaker bar, bar, and I will just make it a medium sized image with a link to the picture. If I do that, then you will see that if it has light box features built into this. So if you view page, the, the image is going to show like up like that and of course you can change the alignment to center align or right align but if you click on it it's going to enlarge in a light box and give you a slideshow which is kind of very cool and with like and tweet buttons so this makes it uh, very easy to use if you have very uh, like an image intensive site and it gives total control i'm also going to change the colors of the footer so i like it much better so I will go to you design again and change the color of the footer. Let's see what color footer do, uh, uh, what color do I want the footer to be? And this is the bottom BG class that we are looking at and we can maybe change this color to uh, something that goes well with our blue. Okay, I'm gonna go back to home and I will just make this uh, 
Uh, by the way, I had another video on how to use Google Chrome tools and uh, what kind of options you can uh, get to customize something. Let's say I, I like a black footer. So I will make the background color of this uh, footer black and then you can make the footer text white. I think that will look uh, good. So uh, you can also say inspect element and then color you can make that white. So that I think will give it a nice look. And with blue header bars for the header, it gives it a good look and feel. So I will go back to here and go to my custom colors and look at the bottom sections. Bottom colors, bottom background color. Instead of that, I'm gonna say a very dark uh, color. Bottom tile colors, bottom text color, I'm just gonna make it white and then link color and hover colors i'm just going to leave that for right now so i can save my changes and refresh this and there you go i think we have a nice looking website at our hands if our logo matched i think it would be a pretty decent website and you can just correct all these links and then you can add more pages or an integrated blog and Short codes is another thing that is very cool in this um, uh, theme. So you can do edit page and once you're in the visual view of the page, uh, you have some, this orange, I will just make it center line so it doesn't monkey with our uh, text. So if you click on this, um, you design short codes, you get a number of things like you can put things in multiple columns, uh, various column formats are here. Um, you can have buttons so if I if I insert a button right here and you can pretty much format it any way you want and the samples are on their side um, it's very easy to do things like this and link them so it is very styled very nicely you can also write custom CSS so it has a built-in custom CSS module and then you have a number of different page layouts that you could use uh, so you can do like a full width page and the sidebar is going to go away. Anyway, I think that is about it. Uh, if you have any questions whatsoever or you'd like to dis um, like to discuss anything with me, have any question about any WordPress design theme customizations or you're in Atlanta or you're just passing by and would like to meet up sometime and talk about software development in general, mobile apps or um, software design. I'd be very happy to do that. And that is my hobby. Uh, and I like working with WordPress a lot. So until next time, thanks very much for watching. Leave a comment if you want to, or if you have a question or a suggestion, and I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.